Hello. Yes. Your eyes are not deceiving you. It is the great plaid lad. And it is, in fact, the long-anticipated answering the comments video that has been teased for a while now in secret messages I input into the videos. They were me the whole time. All right. Today, we are going to be answering some of the questions that you have been asking me in the comment section below. Now, some of these questions actually date back to before Plaid Lad. What a sad time. But I'll answer them for you, since he didn't. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to organize it in oldest to newest in terms of videos. I'll announce what video I'm on and where I got the comment from, and then I'll answer the questions below that video. All right, let's begin. First, we shall start with, oh, way, way back, I did a WandaVision review called WandaVision Series Review Line Rowan Taylor Show Episode 4. And on this video, I had, there's a, three questions by this user on this comment. The first question is, why do you have a house? The second question is, why is this a question? And the third question is, why did I ask the second question above? And then, so the first one is, why do I have a house? Because I need a place to live. The second one is, why is that a question? Because some people might have a different reason to have a house. And why did you ask the second question above? In order to clear, in order to, for me to explain why you need to ask that, of course. All right, so next we're going on to a uh, video that the Rowan Taylor did where he tried to debunk the film theorist in a video called Debunking the Film Theorist 1 Thano Can Snap, RTS Episode 5. In that episode, I debunked the theory that Thanos can't snap by saying that he can. More details in the video. But the question is from this user, in which he says, So the clanking of the metal in both scenes isn't a me metallic form of a snap, like what would you call that noise then? That technically isn't a snap, because a snap makes that snappy noise. The clank is more of like a, a clank, right? There's not a snap to it, it doesn't snap out. Because What's happening is you're pushing down on your, like this, that's a huge rush of air that spreads out and it makes like a sn snap noise. What you're hearing when the metal clanks is the noise of the metal itself and not the reverberation that is happening in here. Because what actually causes the snap is the huge rush of air that happens when you push this down. That's why you can hear it when you do this. Just not as loud because it isn't as powerful. This, you can hear it better. That is technically a form of a snap because you're pushing the air out of it. This is a clap, but it uses the same type of logic as a snap. All right. On to the next question. This one is from the video entitled RTS Minecraft Gameplay 1, the dropper, exclamation point, part one, Minecraft map, um, episode six, 
a question on this is by this user. He says, how many parts will this dropper series have? Turns out it had four. Great. Now, this next one isn't a question, but it comes from the video, Welcome to the Planlet, in which this commenter said, you will pay for your crimes, plaid man. And first of all, I am not the plaid man. I am the plaid lad. And second of all, I am not the one paying for the crimes. Rowan Taylor Show is the one paying for his crimes. You hear me? That is something that I need to settle right here and right now, so that way there's no more confusion. All right? All right, let's move on to the next question from my Thor Love and Thunder, Thunder review. That wasn't my review, of course. That was Black Plaid's review. Yep, look at that. He's in the thumbnail right there. So, the first question is from this user, and they say, how do you get your ideas for your videos? And I'm not, a magician doesn't reveal his secrets. But really, they just kind of come out of the strange void that I have access, access to. I travel to a strange void, and in that void, ideas just come out like random. They don't come from anywhere. Uh, they come from nothing. Whatever the void is. The next question on this video has a couple of questions. One, which country are you from? I am from... I am in the United States, of course. Well, not of course, but you know. What grade are you in? I'm in high school. What editing software do you use? Now, I use Moavi Video Editor. And, and also, if you want to record screen, since you say on here that you want to make a gaming channel, I got, uh, what, is, what is it called? It's called, ah, it is called OBS Studio. That is a really cool tool because it allows you to record your computer screen and audio. And that works really well because, well, most YouTubers use it because it's free and, like, you can change things on it and it's easy to use. Both of these things I have now been putting in the links below the video. I have been forgetting to do that more recently, but I have updated all of the videos so that they would have that in the description. Um, do you think you're ever gonna go popular and or viral. Now, I'm not really, now, although I don't really do this to go viral, I just kind of do this to have fun, but the plaid lad is going to take over the internet. And that is a fact. All right, last question on this video is, what would you consider to be the best Marvel movie and why do you consider it the best? Now this is a hard question and that's more of a question for Black Plaid since he's the movie guy. So I'll swap out. Oh, whoa. All right, I'll answer this question. What would you consider to be the best Marvel movie and why do you consider it the best? Now this is the hard question. Because I like a lot of the Marvel movies. But one strange thing is that after the Infinity Saga, for some reason, I can't even think about watching the Infinity Saga movies. None of them are my favorite anymore. I just don't like them as much as the newer movies and I have absolutely no idea why. So I would have to settle for one of the Phase 4 movies, because those ones 
I actually like a lot better than the other movies. For whatever reason, I don't really know. But, you know, something about the newer movies just feel realer and in a way that the other movies I feel fail. They are great movies, don't get me wrong. But I just can't think of watching those movies ever again. I don't really want to. I only want to watch the Phase 4 movies. I can't, can't even think of liking the past Marvel movies. It's not even that they're bad. It's just that I don't get any feeling from them any, anymore. When you get before this, when you talk about the Avengers Endgame scene, I'd be like, oh yes, that's a great scene. But now, it's nothing. There's nothing left. I don't feel anything for Endgame anymore. But I do feel things for the newer Marvel movies. So, my favorite Marvel movie. Now, I'll give you, like, the top two. Like, top two or three. Uh, three is good. And you know what? I might as well just rank them, since it's easier to just rank them. So I would say that at the bottom, this is the least one, is Black Widow. I do not like that movie whatsoever. The next movie above that is Shang-Chi. I like that movie, but it's kind of like in the middle. Like, there's a big difference between Black Widow and Shang-Chi. Like, Black Widow's down here at the bottom, and Shang-Chi's, like, up here, and then the other movies are up here. So, yeah. Next up, above this movie... I would have to say is now the last few Marvel movies are kind of hard because like Black Widow's here, Shang-Chi's here, but then the other movies are up here, but they're all pretty close together because Eternals, No Way Home, Doctor Strange, and Thor Love and Thunder are all pretty good movies. And there's different labels for them. Like one, some are more fun than others. Some are better, have better, like, cinematography than others. In which that puts them above each other in different ways. So, like, for a fun standpoint, I would think that that it would go, go Eternals, Eternals, Doctor... Eternals, like Doctor Strange, Thor, and Spider-Man. But if I'm talking about movie for which one I feel was the most enriching and the one that I favored the most in terms of being an actual movie, I'd say that it would be... Um, it would have to be... Doctor Strange, Eternals, Thor, and then Spider-Man No Way Home. But Eternals and Doctor Strange are like really close. It's just that I like Eternals better than Doctor Strange because I feel that that movie was better in terms of like telling its story and at some point in Doctor Strange I think it suffered from something. Um, one thing is I think it suffered from the trailers a lot. They revealed a lot in the trailers. And also, there's a lot more issues that I have in Doctor Strange than I do with Eternals. Eternals, all of the stuff in the movie is really, really cool. And it's all like a smart story that is pieced together really well. And I like it. Doctor Strange also has that, but there's a couple holes in it. Like, small holes, which is why it's pretty close. But, one thing that makes Doctor Strange better is they got Sam Raimi to do his cool horror stuff with the cinematography, and they got, like, the electric st guitar stings in the background. My main complaint is that there should have been more electric guitar stings in the background. 
instead of like the two that happened in the movie. And there's some great ideas in Doctor Strange, just that that one I felt like the characters weren't utilized as well as in Eternals, where I actually felt something for the characters, whereas in Doctor Strange, I didn't really feel all that much for the characters. Like, Doctor Strange is Doctor Strange. He's kind of emotionless throughout the entire movie. All of the characters seem kind of emotionless, except except for, like, one scene in which Wanda is actually a real person. So, I'd have to say that my ranking, to go over it again, is Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Doctor Strange, Eternals, Thor, and Spider-Man No Way Home. That's my ranking. All right, next question. That one was a hard one. Um, but next question. This was on the if objects said their names when looked at video part one. Ah. Uh, so I have a couple questions on here. This first question is, That Black Plaid almost tried to steal the show away. I'm the one that's supposed to be answering questions. I just gave you the question that you were qualified for. The one that you were supposed to answer. But you took that privilege that I gave you. That opportunity. That, that notion of goodwill. And you threw it in the dumpster. You tried to trick me. And is stealing the show when this is the plaid that rules. Which is why this question is actually kind of fitting for what just happened here. Who is the strongest plaid in the canon lore? Red plaid. No one messes with the red plaid. Not even whatever he was doing. Black plaid. Orange and, orange and blue plaid, they wouldn't even think of doing that. Man, the nerve in some of these plaid lads. All right, the next question also on this video is this question. Would you consider subscriber video requests? Now that could mean one of two things. Would I request a video for people to see or should I like ask for a request from subscribers. If I'm ask, if I'm gonna recommend a video to you, I'd recommend the video that we're on right now, this video about the sounds. And that one is great, it's superb. But if you're talking about me getting recommendations from the audience, and of course, I'll always have that. That's the one thing that, that the Rowan Taylor Show did pretty good. If you want to recommend something, Recommend it in the comment section in the new Discord that we now have up. Anyway, put some suggestion and I might do it. You know? The next one is, if you were a mixed tape, what songs would be on your soundtrack? Now, this would be a question some of the other plans might answer, but I, I gave my one thing of goodwill and Black Plaid ruined it for everyone. So I'm going to have to answer this for them. I know their answers pretty well. Now, one thing is definitely, uh, there's going to be quite a few David Bowie songs on there because I like a lot of his songs. There's some songs that connect to me. Specifically, um, there's a song in, his out, in one of the albums called Seven. That one really connects to me. I really like that song. There is some of his more rocking songs, like Moon and Daydream, the live one, of course. Um, there's other David Bowie songs, such as, um, like, The Prettiest Star, because it has a cool guitar solo rift in it. Let's Dance and Modern Love are definitely on there. There's probably going to be a couple other songs, but those are the ones that I... Ah, quite a bit. Basically, the first section of 
the Scary Monsters and Super Creeps album, like the first four or five songs plus the one at the end, those ones are all going on a mixtape because those all go together and they all go together really well. Now, there is other songs that could go on there that aren't David Bowie, one such song. Uh, I'd of course have Hallelujah on there, the greatest song of all time. That song is great. It transcended the artist in a way that's really cool. And, uh, probably some Pink Floyd, but that doesn't really suit my personality, so. But I'd put it on anyways because it has a cool vibe. Like, uh, some of, like, time and whatnot. But anywho, and on to the next question. Oh, and speaking of time from Pink Floyd, I'd also put Time by David Bowie on the album. Because that song is really cool. Check it out. Okay, so next question. This question is, when are we getting another Hutchin appearance? And really, that just depends on whether or not Hutchin is willing to follow the Plaid Land ways. You see, back in the day, he was a Roland Taylor show ally. I just want to make sure that he is on the right alliance. You see? If he is willing to follow the plaid lad, then he's welcome to come on. All right, we're on to the last question. In me, unfortunately, to the person that's from Canada, this video probably got restricted for you because it got restricted because of the copyright music in the video and it said that it won't be able to be seen in Canada so hopefully you have like a VPN or something. But I'll try and figure out a way to post that. Maybe I'll post one on the Discord. Go on the Discord. I'll post a private version of the video so that way it won't get taken down. So yeah, now that's the motivation to go on the Discord. So boom. But anyways, this last question is, where is the brown plaid. Now, I'm not sure if you watched the plaid lads video that introduced us in the form of a song, but there is no pl brown plaid. Maybe there's one to come in the future, but he doesn't exist yet. Anywho, that is all the comments for today. If there's any more comments in the future, they start to pile up again into a nice sized list around this size, maybe more. Then, I'll do it. So, even though this is the end of the await for the comment video, there's definitely going to be more comment videos in the future. So, keep on putting your burning questions in the comments. And someday, we'll meet again in another question video. That'd be exciting. Wouldn't it? Anyways, thank you for watching The Plaid Lad, and thank you for watching The Plaid Lad. Plaid Lad, guys.